guys, welcome to my channel. Powell here. Got a quick review today in this video. Got the delivery today. Absolutely fantastic. Received the package within two days. Ordered on Sunday. So let's take a look what we got here. We got big plans and I'm making a video already on uh, creating a monster. A monster, monster, monster skateboard. I'm very excited. I haven't finished the project yet, so I don't know if it's going to come out well. Hopefully it will. But let's take a look at the main part that I'm very excited about that is going to be installed on the skateboard to make it a monster. So what am I so excited about? I'm quite excited to show you the part that's going to make the board I'm working on at the moment upgrading it in all kind of different ways a really fast and really hard stopping board so let's take a look as you can see the package is not very exciting it's just a simple box there's no writings on it but I don't really care it's only a package and it's not going to make the product so are you ready guys there we go that's the monster I'm quite excited about. What you see in the front of you is an upgraded, very powerful brassless motor that I'm going to use on the electric skateboard. It's by company Street Wing. It's 190 kV. It does have 3550 watts of power. You got standard 8 mm shaft with a uh, key slot on it so this is to stop the uh, pulley spinning around we've got two sets of uh, fixing holes so it does match quite a lot of standard motor mounts it does come with a high quality silicone uh, golden connectors four millimeters and a signal cable so it does have hull sensors which do control the motor which is really good in order to make sure that the motor fits in the board I want to use I have also ordered a really good quality motor mount so let's take a look how that looks like very nicely built with some logos on it die cast aluminium die cast motor mount will go around the trucks does I also have an adapter for the trucks that will have that square design like the caliber 2 it comes with all sorts of uh, bolts that will fix the uh, clamp and also fix the motor to the motor mount so let's compare the new monster motor to the original motor that was installed on the board So what you see in the front of you is the original 1200 watts motor which was power, powerful enough to even take me around the street and I'm a heavy block. On the left is the upgraded motor, much bigger, much longer and much more powerful. And now you can see the motors next to the 83 millimeter street wheel. So you can have some sort of idea on the physical size of them. So a little bit more about the specs of the new motor. So it is 190 kilovolts, maximum power of 3550 3, watt, max current at 80 amp. The voltage it is rated from 6S to 12S, which is roughly from 25 volt up to 50 volt. It is a sealed motor, it does have 8 millimeter a drive shaft the, the shaft length is 32 millimeters the length of the motor including the shaft that's pretty much right there is 109 mil and the width of the motor can which is that it's 63 millimeters so bear in mind if you're installing something like this you need a bit more space for the motor it does come with the flexible silicone cables and does have four millimeter 
female gold plated bullet connectors. Sorry, on the motor, male connectors and female are given to you in the box. You got the hull sensors and pretty much that's it. It will set you back roughly about 140 pounds. I was able to get it on sale and I've paid 113 pounds 99 pence plus delivery. So I'm very excited about installing this on my board that I'm actually working on at the moment, as I mentioned before. And when I'm done, that little board will be an absolute monster. So if you guys are interested in the video that is coming up and you don't want to miss it, to everyone who is not yet subscribed to my channel, please do, because trust me, you do not want to miss this. Guys, just wanted to mention that the sensor cable connector on this uh, motor is a 5 cable but 6 pin. So hopefully it's in zoom. I will turn around so you can see it all the way around. It's this sort of connector but it's 6 pin with 5 cables. So it's much bigger than that what it is on PCB on my uh, skateboard. So I had to swap it over. So just be careful, unless you know how to do this, you might want to make sure that you're getting the correct connector uh, for your application. 1200 watt stock motor. 